we are back with another makeup video but this time i'm going to be answering some of your questions because in one of my recent videos i asked what you guys would like to see and i realized that you guys don't really know much about me so i'm excited to be answering some of the questions that you guys had for me on instagram let's get right into it i'm going to be doing my go-to makeup look but with more of a fall twist i'm sorry if any of you guys are tired of seeing these fall videos but i'm just in my fall mood let's get straight into it for all my makeup looks i feel like what's most important to me is that i want to make sure it's enhancing my features and i'm not drowning in my makeup let's get started i have all the questions here and if there's any that are repeating we'll just skip I'm going to start with some skin prep. You guys already have seen this and know that I love it. So the first question is style inspo. I actually got a couple of these questions. Growing up, my biggest style inspo is definitely my mom. She has always been a very fashionable gal. Like a lot of my bags are actually hers. So even as a teenager, I really looked up to everything that she wears and the style that she was going for. Now that I am getting older, I have realized that my style is a little bit different from hers. Finding my style definitely was not easy, especially I am more of a petite girl. We're so lucky we have the internet, it's so accessible. So I find most of my inspos and creativity with fashion through Pinterest, Instagram, my friends. Anyways, that's skin prep. Next up, my holy grail. <laughs> the RMK foundation. I also have been loving the Huda Beauty foundation as well, but I don't have it with me right now. Next question. What was your career before being a content creator? I actually studied nutrition. I went to SF State and right out of college during the pandemic, I actually got a job at a hospital as a nutrition assistant. I love nutrition. I am very grateful that I had that experience at the hospital. It was honestly so much fun working with everyone. And sometimes I still think about it. I do miss it. Favorite Chinese restaurants in the Bay Area slash SF. This is a really good question but also a little difficult i would say because i get the best chinese food at home already when i used to live in the sunset my favorite one was jumbo another one that i really like is shell peninsula i'm sure you guys have seen it i love going there for dim sum i guess that's my answer now going in with concealer i'm using this one again i'll make sure to put all my shades and everything down below i like to let my concealer sit while i wait i like to do my brows as this brow gel if you guys aren't big on filling your brows which i'm not i just usually use a clear brow gel this stuff is so good <sighs> next question any tips on making friends in nyc it can be so hard to not feel lonely here honestly when i first moved here i always talk about this it was hard i was very fortunate that i already knew some people before i moved here but i feel like this city just makes you feel a bit lonely even now i have moments where i feel a bit lonely not because i don't have people that i love surrounding me but just because of how everyone here is really focused on themselves which is good because it forces me to focus on myself as well but definitely even now there are some lonely moments how i found friends though was honestly through other people but i do know that a lot of my friends who just move here join a lot of different clubs running club book clubs there are a lot of free activities in new york so that's also something that i feel like it's very helpful when it comes to meeting people i would definitely say just put yourself out there and do things okay next favorite activity to do in les it's a bit niche i usually go there for cafes i think they have a lot of cute cafes there my favorite one is le fin even though they're on and off with their matcha sometimes there's a lot of good restaurants there chaniste is there yeah i mostly eat mango mango's there <laughs> That's that. Fall favorites, beauty slash fashion, music, food. See, you guys are into the fall content. I guess beauty for fall would be matte lip. Fashion, definitely the brown tones, the burgundy tones, the sweaters, my off-shoulder sweaters. For music, for me, I mostly listen to old 90s canto pop, but I do love jazz. I listen to fall jazz 
quite frequently. Food-wise, chili, tomato soup, grilled cheese, anything indulgent, cinnamon rolls. I'm just telling you everything I made in the last video. Tips for adjusting to change. I actually really like this question. Also, I'm going in with bronzer next. This is Makeup by Mario Bronzing Serum in the shade Light. I think one thing that you need to learn right away when it comes to adjusting to change is to be comfortable being alone. Relationship changes, family, job change, city change. Learn to be happy alone. I learned to love doing things alone. It made the change and adjustment like much easier. To give yourself space, don't force yourself to do things that will make you feel uncomfortable. And when it comes to adjusting to change, I think you need to be patient with yourself. Trying to think of what else. I'm really thinking of all these just on the spot. Please be patient with me. <laughs> be patient with yourself, but also be patient with me. Okay, what makes you confident? The first thing I started to tell myself when I really wanted to learn self-confidence and self-love is that everyone is different and there will always only be one of you unless you have an identical twin, then I don't know how that feels. I actually think that that is what helped me gain the most confidence. It's just reminding myself that it's not what you have that defines who you are, it's how you treat others. Yes, some of the other things that make me feel confident would be a good makeup look, cute outfits that I'm comfortable in. I used to be very uncomfortable in my own body. That's something that took me a long time to work on. The process of that was to just accept myself for who I am. Now that I have accepted my body for what she is, I can find pieces and outfits that make me feel my best. Fave food ever, death row meal. Oh my god, this one's easy. My absolute favorite meal is going to be my mom's homemade curry fish balls or mm, homemade dumplings. Also, I'm now applying some powder. This is Huda Beauty's powder in peach pie. I used to never be a powder girl, but after I tried this at their makeup class, changed my life. Okay, next question. Do I have any favorite cookbooks? No, TikTok's my cookbook. Okay, next question. Eight year long-term dating advice, how to keep dating someone, not get bored <laughs> of the other person. Yeah, I've been with my boyfriend for seven years now. I guess something that keeps us both going is to make sure we spend time with each other, find time for each other, which was really hard in the beginning for me when he first moved here because I feel like I was constantly going out, seeing my friends, just trying to build community. That's something that really helps is to find designated time for each other, whether it's setting date night or just finding time in the morning to chat, whatever it is. And compromise is easier said than done and takes time to learn. Yeah, and trying new things together, that's also really helpful. You're facing the person every day. It's nice to be able to do something new together. How did I meet my boyfriend? I actually got a couple of these. I actually met him on Tinder. We went to the same high school together, but we didn't have any classes together. So Tinder brought us together during college. Okay, next up, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I'm using this eyeshadow palette. It's a Korean brand. Okay, but moving on to the next question. My education, I think I already mentioned this, but I went to SF State. I went to community college for a couple of years, not knowing what I wanted to study. The amount of times that I've changed my major, this is why I could never get a tattoo. I couldn't even pick a major. At the end of it, I decided to study nutrition and I transferred from community college to SF State. Anyways, I'm gonna put this shade all over my lid. This person said, I know it's kind of a strange question, but if I were to wake up in a movie, which one would it be? I don't know if I'd want to wake up in a movie, so to say. I love rom-coms, but I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to wake up in one. I think I would like to wake up in an anime, like Pokemon. That has always been my dream. Pokemon is a good one. Sailor Moon. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. Next question. What did you do before influencing? How did you break into it? I guess I already answered what I did before, but how I broke into it was I think like a lot of creators during the pandemic, even though I was working at the hospital, I would work at night. So during the day, I would drag my boyfriend to drive me around all over the Bay Area to take pictures. I actually have always taken pictures ever since high school, but definitely during the pandemic, I really honed in on it. Next question. How do you manage your time and stress? P.S. I love watching your videos. If you're watching this, Sasha, thank you. Love you as well. But I am actually the worst at stress management. Time management, now I've gotten much better. I think my biggest thing is just to tell myself it's better to do it early than late. Stress, I don't handle stress well. 
I'm going in with the brown eyeliner now. Going to yoga and exercising definitely helps a lot with my stress, sleep, and finding time to watch TV. Watching TV isn't for everyone, I know, but just something that will help you pass time without using your brain for a second. I also recently got into reading, so that's something that really helps me. Oh, I really like this question. Favorite places slash memories of San Francisco. I have so many. I grew up there, so I have a lot of love for the place where I grew up. Favorite places in SF. I love the sunset just because I grew up there, so I'm biased. Memories, I think, the best memories. I know this is boring, but it has to be in my old house in San Francisco, hanging out with my dog. She's passed a couple years ago. That's probably my most precious memories. I feel like your childhood home is something that you just miss the most. Next question, what are you reading? I am currently reading a Court of Thorns and Roses series. I'm on the third book. Next question, favorite stores. Oh my God, I have so many. I love Paloma Wool, I love Himiguaz, I love Essence, Aritzia, that's a good one. Realization Par, Tank Air, Tank Air has great pieces, great staple pieces, Reformation, and I actually just love thrifting as well. This is a new favorite. This mascara is so good if you have Asian lashes. Someone asked for a New York City guide. We're gonna have to come back to that question with a whole other video. Okay, another question is, where did you go to school and when did you move to New York City? I already answered where I went to school. I went to SF State. But when I moved to New York, I moved to New York March of 2022. I'll find the actual date. Okay, next question. East or West Coast? I feel like this is something that everybody debates on. It will always be West Coast for me because that's home. But for where I am in life and me being in my late 20s now, I do think that the city is great. So East Coast for now, but in general, West Coast. Next question. What got you into fashion? Uh. I think I was always into fashion. I know, boring, but probably because of my mom. Next question, have you traveled solo before? No, I have not. I think I would love it, but I've never had the chance to. And I do love traveling with people I love. So it's not something that I'm planning on in the near future. Next question, how tall am I? <laughs> I am 5'1". How do I feel about being a content creator? That's the next question. Very grateful to begin with, because I do think that there are just so many wonderful things about being a content creator. I'm happy, it's not easy. This is the Say Blush in the shade Cutie. Okay, the next question is, how did I find my own style? Um, I used to wear some pretty questionable things. Very questionable, actually. But in general, I think what really helped, again, finding things that look good on my body type, going on Pinterest, I still really like to experiment. I think that's also something that really helps is to not be afraid to try new things. And if it doesn't look good, it doesn't look good. Sometimes it looks really good and it sticks. So that's how I found my style was to just try different things. Next question, what is my favorite thing in New York City? The people, all of my friends and all the people that I get to meet here. And if you are my friend watching this, you are the reason why I love the city so, so much. I'm gonna speed run these questions. Have I ever considered visiting the Philippines? Yes, because my boyfriend is half Filipino, so I will probably go visit very soon. What are my top three restaurant recommendations anywhere in the world? Whoa, Four Horsemen. You guys see me going there all the time. I do love it. Oh, Joto Curry. I'm gonna be there soon. Great curry spot. I think right now it would be Shanghai Delight in the East Bay. Best dumplings I've had in a long time and everything there is good. How are you liking New York City so far? Actually, I really was not enjoying New York for the longest time, but recently I'm loving it. I'm loving New York. What is something that you want to tell your younger self? That you're gonna be okay. And I still tell myself this till this day. The problems that you have now will seem so small when you look back in even just a month. Be patient with yourself. Keep giving, but don't be taken advantage of. Do not worry so much, please. Lighting is so dark, so I'm sorry if you guys can't see much. How do I keep my hair so voluminous? Uh, actually, I just have a natural wavy hair texture, and she is a pain and super frizzy most of the time, so I 
can't really tell you how I keep it this voluminous, but I can do a hair tutorial very soon to show you my go-to voluminous curls. What is your favorite TV show to watch in the fall? Gilmore Girls. So fall coated. Come on. Dream place to travel to. I want to go back to Hong Kong. I've already been before, but that's where I really want to go. And I want to go see China as well. <laughs> this one's funny. How did you convince your boyfriend to move across the country with you? I actually didn't have to do any convincing. He was the one who told me that we should try living together and try something new. So it took no convincing. He convinced me. Are you planning on moving back to the Bay someday? Of course, that's where my family's from. How old am I? How did I not answer that in the beginning? I'm 26, turning 27. I'm going with a matte lip. This is from Merit in the shade Black Tie. This is a cute one. How did you and Ashley become friends? I actually lived with her in the old house in Chelsea and that's how we became friends and we've been friends since. Skincare faves, this is one of them. Love this one for makeup prep. I'm currently loving Skin1004, any of their products. They're wonderful. I also love Tatcha. I think Tatcha has beautiful products. So Wasu, I just love Korean skincare. But yeah, actually, that's all the questions. I cannot leave. We got through all of them. <laughs> this is the fall makeup. I hope I answered some of the questions that you guys were curious about. Yeah, and if you have any other questions, you can leave them down below. Thank you for watching all the way through if you're here. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!